Hello, this is Dr. Tushar Shah. Today is the 9th of February 2021. The topic today is testing for antibodies against COVID-19. Antibodies can be tested before getting infection or vaccination, after getting infection but before getting vaccination or after being vaccinated. What is the utility of each of these is what is today's topic about. First, let me give you a primer. As you know, antibodies are produced by B lymphocytes and form a part of what is called humoral immunity as against cell mediated immunity, which is through T lymphocytes. The antibodies bind to the incoming virus and do not allow the virus to penetrate the respiratory cells, for example. As against that, the T lymphocytes can kill the virus that has entered the cells. So in that sense, B lymphocytes and antibodies prevent spread of infection. B lymphocytes produce multiple forms of antibodies. The two most important for our purpose are IgG and IgM. As we all know, the IgM antibodies appear earlier than the IgG antibodies, maybe around the fifth day of onset of symptoms. And they disappear earlier, maybe around the 21st day. The IgG antibodies, on the other hand, appear late, around the 10th day of infection and disappear after several months of infection. Thus, when you measure antibodies, say around after first month of infection, you will be principally measuring the IgG fraction. Antibodies are broadly of two types based on efficacy. There are neutralizing antibodies and there are non-neutralizing antibodies. The ones that are called neutralizing are the ones that bind to the spike proteins and do not allow the spike proteins to attach to the ACE2 receptor on the respiratory epithelium. The non-neutralizing varieties can be antibodies to other parts of the COVID virus and do not affect the entry of the virus into cells. Antibodies can also be categorized by the region that they act against. The antigen can be the nucleocapsid antigen of the SARS-CoV-2 virus which is contained in the sphere of the virus. Antibodies to that are called anti-N antibodies, N standing for nucleocapsid. Then there are antibodies to the spike proteins which are on the surface of that sphere. And these antibodies therefore are called anti-S antibodies. You can well imagine that the neutralizing antibodies are probably the ones that act against the spike protein because remember it is a spike protein which will get attached to the ACE2 receptors to gain entry into cells. Well, this was a primer. A second part on the same subject follows hereafter. Thank you for joining.